Hey, today we'll be making a short scene of this apartment using image textures and a couple free models. So for some things such as the person in the room and the plants, we'll just be grabbing some free models from sites like Sketchfab, but for the building and the room itself, let's head on over to textures.com and go to the building section. I'll be using a texture that I found under the Asian tower block section, which is under the high rise buildings, but you can follow this tutorial using any type of building with large windows. So once you have your image textures, let's open up Blender and add in a cube. Press S to scale this up and then SZ to scale it up on the Z axis. You can also scale the building on the Y and X axes if you want. Then let's drag up this timeline and open up the shader editor. With the cube selected, let's create a new material and press Shift A in the shading tab to bring up the search menu and let's add in an image texture. Once you have the image texture, we can go into edit mode, select all the faces, press U and select project from view. Let's head over to the UV editor and press A to select all the faces and scale the texture appropriately. You don't have to do this, but I'll subdivide the cube and make some adjustments by moving faces in the UV editor to get certain windows next to each other. Select the window on the edge of your building to be the focal point and use that same window texture on the face perpendicular to the focal point. Once you have the textures mapped out as you like, we can start making cuts using the loop cut tool in edit mode. Let's add some cuts so that they line up with the ones on the image texture so we can extrude windows, ledges, and more details. For smaller details like the air conditioner and other things on the building, we can use the knife tool to manually cut out these shapes. The more time you spend on this step to cut and extrude finer details, the better your final result will look. For the details that repeat, such as some of the supports, we can take advantage of modifiers by selecting the detail, making it a new object, and then applying an array modifier in the modifiers tab. To texture the glass, let's select the glass part of the window of our focal point and make that a separate object as well for convenience. Now would be a good time to place the camera as well so we don't have to worry about adding details to other parts of the building. Let's create a new material and assign that to the glass. And in the shaders tab, let's add in a mix shader as well as a glossy BSDF and a glass BSDF shader. Connect these two to the mix shader and we can mess around with the values until you get something that looks nice. For the inside of the room, I'll add in a cube, delete the faces facing the window, and line up the top and bottom faces of the cube with the window to be the ceiling and the floor. We'll only be looking at this room from the outside, so it's fine if the edges of the room don't perfectly connect with the wall. Before we download some free assets, we can add more detail by finding more image textures and essentially repeating the same steps as before. I'll find a texture of some roofing and apply that to a flattened cube. I'll add some cuts and extrude some details from the roof, add some supports to the roofing, and place that above the window. I'll also grab some textures of speakers that I found on textures.com that I can just project onto cubes and place inside the room. Next, let's start adding some plants and pots by finding some free assets on sites like Sketchfab. I'll link the assets I used in the description, and you can import these by going to File, Import, and either import as FBX or .obj depending on the file type. I'll mainly place these plants on the ledges of the windows as well as inside the room. Let's also add some stickers on the window by importing images as planes and using sticker textures. I created a free sticker pack that you can download from the video description. I'll also import some images of posters for movies and musicians as planes to place on the walls inside the room. To finish up the room, I'll import an animation of someone dancing that I got from Mixamo as an FBX. Let's go to the camera settings and enable depth of field and set the focus object to the character. Lowering the f-stop value will make everything else out of focus and increasing this value will bring it back into focus. By using this, we can make the background slightly blurry. We can also add some background buildings by repeating the same steps from the beginning of the video, but you won't have to worry about the details as much because they'll be further away from the camera and out of focus. Finally, we can light the scene by adding some point lights inside of the room and area lights outside the windows. 
For the background and world lighting, I'll add in an HDRI as an environment texture in the environment settings tab. You can find lots of free HDRIs online on websites such as Polyhaven. Adjust the area lights to match the HDRI and you can get some really nice looking results. And there you go. If you feel like you followed all the technical aspects of this video but want to improve the composition, I would recommend checking out my two environment design videos which could really help with camera placement, lighting, and other theory concepts that could improve your scene by a lot. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all next time.